okay, am I really rotating my stash the way I should be rotating it? I don't know. Hello, babes. Bringing you a little vlog today. I am getting ready for my sorority chapter meeting. And I discovered that I had a Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. You know how when you're digging in your stash and you might see this, well, definitely after this, but I went through my back drawers here, this, and I discovered this. And I was like, well now, wait a minute. I know for doggone sure, I wasn't sitting here with a face palette and contemplating about getting that other one. And I didn't even use this one till its fullest capacity. So that's what we're doing today. And before I forget, because I tend to do that, I'm gonna put on my earrings. I'm so pissed at myself. I still don't know where the heck my other earring went from the bowling party. It's gone, it's lost. I don't know where it is, but it's certainly not here. So here's the earring that I'm putting on. I'm wearing a very vivid pink, <laughs> very vivid pink sweater dress. And I was like, hmm, let me throw on some pearls. I have these pink and green pearls that a Sora had given me. We did a secret sore and the pearls I'm gonna wear is from one of those secret sores. So here is the Glam Face Palette. And this is what she called the dark version. And I'm gonna use every color because, because I'm gonna start with the transition color. And she labeled it too. So there's really no need to even fuss about anything because it's all right here for you. So I'm going to start with the transition shade. I really don't understand sometimes like how I go through my makeup. I think I'm doing a very good transition and really rotating my stash. And then I come up with gems like these and I'm like, I don't think I am. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these, like shopping my stash and just jumping on camera, showing you how it all works for me. The Sephora sale is coming up and I believe it's 20% for Rouge. Yeah, I mean, I should know, right, I'm Rouge. <laughs> Um, so it's 20% for Rouge. So maybe I will wait until then because even with my discount, it's only 15%. So I'm like, yeah, I might as well just wait and get it when it's on sale since I'm on the fence about it. All right. So now I'm going to go in with, I guess this is almost kind of a rose gold shade. We'll see. It says outer corner, but I'm going to put this all over the lid. I think I will do like a nudie lip today. I haven't done one of those in a while. So that is the look today. That's it. Next we're going to go into the cheek and the highlight. And the cheek is a cream blush and then a golden highlight, so which is a powder. So I'm gonna do the cream first. Let me grab a brush and we're going to just start stamping it in and then working the color across. This is LYS. I'll just leave that one little dot. And this is Strength. In case you are a shade match to me, that is the shade that I'm using. And a little goes a long way. This is one you don't want to overload. I'd rather add than subtract because subtracting is a little bit more challenging sometimes. So I go in with a very light hand, whatever's left on 
the brush, I put it on that jawline. Somebody needs to be curtailing the sweets, honey, because that jawline is getting a little, little bit of thing there. <laughs> All right, so bronzer is done. Okay, we look a little alive now. We look a little vivid. Okay, going back to our palette for the final touch and that is the highlight i'm going to use a wayne goss brush oh yeah that's pretty okay okay we act like we know what we're doing sometimes huh <laughs> we do we do We do. All right. Now, mm, let's do the lashes. I'm finishing up this Lash Paradise. You'll see in my February Favorites and Fails, this was a fail for me. The bristles are just too harsh. They're stiff, and I can't really get in like I usually do, like go into the base and really fluff up my lashes because these are so prickly. They they stick into the root of my lash and I can't, it's just too stiff and too harsh. But we don't waste anything around here. If we bought it, we gonna find a use for it. So we're gonna use this up until is done done and then that's it all right we're trying out a new mascara today new mascara alert this is by smashbox this is called the super fan it's supposed to give you 12 hour volume length and lift and 94 percent of those who use it say they saw a fanned out look so we're gonna try it it's from the brand I don't know how new it is. It's fairly new. It's new to me. This is the packaging. Really slick. Bold red color. All right. Let's see what this wand looks like. Oh, okay. It's a very thin wand. Look at that. All right. So let's see what it does. Let's move this hair out the way. Okay, I like the wand. It's definitely helping with separating those lashes. Not prickly, so it's not pinching the base of my lashes. That's good. Oh, let's look. Before, after. Not bad. All right, dipping again. And I like that it doesn't goop, you know, like really collect onto the brush. It gives you just the right amount. Really important because that's how you get a lot of clumps on your lashes when you dip again and you pull out too much product. This may very well be a contender. All right, Smashbox fanned out lash. Pretty good. Babes, I washed my brushes, not all of them, but, oh, that was a lot of powder. Shannon, what are you doing? Good thing, even if I load up my brush, 
it won't look that way. It doesn't look powdery or cakey at all. Love this. And I think they have a new highlight. I might have to grab that. I know next month starts the Sephora sale. And as always, you know, I'm gonna bring you the TTT. So we're gonna go look at some things that I would suggest. And then we're gonna go shopping. Let's do a little Pat McGrath lip pencil and ground control. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we like her. We like her a lot. I'm gonna that. finish getting dressed. Of course, I will share with you the finished look once I am all complete. I'm gonna put on my lotion. I already started doing my hands, which probably was dry this entire time. So sorry for that. But um, yeah, let me finish getting ready and I'll be back to show you the final look. 